Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Farthest Frontier. Uh, this one has, uh, I've, been, I've been watching a bit of this in, over the last sort of period that I've been away and I really want to dive into this one. Uh, it looks really, really fun. The version 0.92 is the newest version I think and um, it's actually quite recent, obviously approaching uh, 1.0, uh, hopefully sometime this year I think, but I wanted to dump into this one. Um, I missed Banished when it first came round and um, never really was able to get quite into it and I think this has has very much banished vibes. If you enjoyed that, you'll probably get a kick out of this one. It is a sort of uh, relatively uh, difficult, uh, difficult is maybe not the word, punishing perhaps, <laughs> uh, feudal settlement builder, um, but I, uh, I do want to dive in. Now, as with a lot of these games, you can be very, very optimal with how you build. I will let you know straight away that is not how we play these games. I'm all about making stuff look pretty, looking natural. We're going to have windy roads and uh, and it, yeah, so if you, if you come into this thinking that you want the most perfect uh, looking uh, working city, you're not going to get it, but you might have the most perfect looking one perhaps. Uh, Rockfield's cool, although I hope we don't have... Oh, Diapole is pretty depressing, isn't it? Uh, Mockington. Eh, Mockington. Uh, Avalon is very nice. Uh, El Dorado. It's got a very different vibe to it. Bourbon Town. Snods Meadow. Oh, well, there we go. We're in Snods Meadow, folks. Uh, different difficulties. Pioneer gives you uh, plus extra resources to begin with and lower hostile forces and healthcare adversity. Lancashire, you got hardly anything. I think we'll go down the middle. I'll be honest with you, I have had played this a little bit off camera just because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't terrible at it. I'm not great at these games, folks, I won't lie. If anything is very punishing, I often struggle. I can sometimes get a little stuck in the weeds with these, but we'll give it a go anyway. Life can be harsh everywhere, uh, but in the old world, there is no hope of it ever improving. When our crops failed... Oh, the guy's saying this. Sorry, I shouldn't be... I'll shut up. Same share. Leaving our children to starve. And if we had any coin to our name, the taxman would appear, demanding it for the crown. The nobles hid behind the safety of their walls and did nothing when raiders pillaged the outskirts of the city. And so, some of us decided that it was time to leave. That we'd rather take our chances in the wilderness seeking the promise of a new land and starve to death in our homeland. The journey wasn't easy. We lost many along the way. But this wild, unsettled land offers us the hope of a new start as the masters of our own destiny. Okay, we finished surrounding the scouting area, and we're going to look at setting down uh, Sno Snod's Meadow, was it? Snodsboro? <laughs> uh, so we're in a very foresty area here. This is super foresty. We could really do with finding some water. Do we have zero water here? This is crazy. Uh, there's some marshy land here, but we really do need a lake, because fishing is a very easy early source of water. There is just zero water on this map. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we have a little lake here. I mean, it really isn't much, but it is just going to be enough to at least get a few fishing um, things going on. Okay, so we have fish. Let's see if we can also find a, a source of uh, hunting meat, because that's always a tricky one as well. Early on, uh, being able to hunt meat really helps. Uh, it's telling me there are some deer around here. I can't actually see the node for them. Uh, oh, here we go. So we've got deer here and water, so that's a good start. Fertility is pretty low here, mostly because of the forest, although it does get quite a bit better over this way. So farming over here, uh, lots of trees to work in, uh, lots of foraging stuff, absolutely zero minerals anywhere. Here we've got uh, clay and sand. Um, looks like, but again, I don't, I don't mind the lack of minerals as much because, for the most part, uh, we can we can trade for those a little bit later on. There's some good rocks around here. There's more deer. Um, I, yeah, I don't think this is terrible. It's not the most optimal, but we have water for the river. We have deer, 
Uh, we've got some resources up over here that we can get to. So I don't hate that so much. And then lots of wood, which is going to be great for an early start. Okay, I actually think we come down here and we just go plonk straight into the, uh, to the forest here. Because basically as they clear that forest out, it will give us the first um, uh, chunk of wood that we need for building. So, okay, let's go for it. It may not be the most optimal, but we have some berries that aren't in season right now. But there's other fruits and stuff around. Foragers are going to be able to grab eggs and uh, other berries and plants and stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go. Boom. Confirmation. Yes. So... A uh, predator's attacking. What a great start! We've got the, the, we're going to lose people straight away. <laughs> Is it a bear? Was that a bear or a wolf? Oh, it was a wolf. Okay, so great start. <laughs> uh, so they'll start clearing this area out. It is going to be a little tricky to see as we begin because it's, we are in a very heavy wooded area here. But basically, it kind of kills two birds with one stone. They're going to clear these uh, trees out as we. Um, make the space for our town centre. Um, the next thing we're going to need, so you'll see here, look at that, how much of the uh, the fog of war has just come in here um, uh, straight away. But we can we can get we can get to the water here pretty easily. Um, we've got some foraging spots around. We have it's going to be mostly be eggs. We're going to be eating eggs to start off with. So a villager has died. Great start. Succumb to the wounds of battle. So that wolf just managed to take one of us out. Straight away, what a good start! I mean, we're going to struggle to get a grave, uh, a graveyard set up very quickly, so they're just going to be hanging around. Yeah, a bit of a rough beginning to be uh, to be fair with you, but at least uh, they're all going to be jumping on here, knocking down trees. Uh, we can start with getting a few houses sorted. We start with a shelter. Uh, the shelter is always the house we build basically, and then uh, and then we can build. Um, uh, oh, temporary shelter. What's that? What's the difference? Oh, I'm getting mixed up. Oh, yeah. No, a temporary shelter is for people who are working out uh, in the distance. I remember now. So we always build shelters, basically. And then as as the uh, uh, the citizens get the desirability level up, as they get the food and water and other goods and services they need, they will upgrade these shelters into uh, better levels of housing. So, uh, yeah, we will always be building shelters, even if it's better. Uh, even if there are better houses available, they will upgrade them as we go. Now, what we can do is, whilst they're building this, because we can't build shelters until this is set up and running, but we can start building, uh, or at least laying out, the uh, the other stuff we need. So we're actually going to build a hunter's cabin just uh, a bit further out of the town. And uh, and they're going to get started on, on picking up these deer here. And then the other thing we can do is a forager's shack. This one doesn't necessarily have to be as far out, I don't think, but we're going to try and put it uh, in an area where there is uh, things to forage, which is always a good start. So we'll go here with this. Um, there is a rotate option, I think, and I just can't remember what it is. Uh, rotate. Uh, placeable is tab. There we go. So we'll stick this here. That's going to let us uh, gather up these eggs. I think, because these are blueberry bushes, these are one of the few bushes that we can actually uh, move. Uh, oh, maybe not. There is a there is an option to move some bushes. Maybe blueberry isn't one of them, uh, but still, that's I, I don't mind that we can we can have them harvest eggs and blueberries. And we can also build a second one of these if we need to as well. Um, what else can we do food wise? Fishing hut is definitely going to be something we're going to want to get up and running. And you'll see here that the fishing hut will actually build them. This circle around the hut is its area of influence, basically. Uh, but we are going to be able to move that. So we we don't necessarily have to build this right next to the water, but obviously the closer to the water, uh, the better for that. Okay, so we have a few things going already now. We have the work areas uh, started. We have the hunter cabin started. So this uh, area of influence here, we can move it with this, uh, but basically all we have to do is make sure that it's in with these uh, deer, which it is, so that's good. Um, looks like the foragers one is sorted, we will have to move that. Um, so it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to hit berries and eggs, but if we hit that area there, they're gonna be able to get berries, uh, nuts looks like, and then what's this one, mushrooms as well. So. That's a good start for them. We could actually probably get away with a second one of those down here in a little while for eggs too. 
Um, and then the fishing hut is starting. They're, they're, they're pretty good on, on getting these done. It does take a little while to get this cleaned out. But otherwise, um, you know, it's pretty good. They require logs. Oh, so we need to get some more logs uh, coming in. So the way we do that is come into Harvest Resources. Click off of these and just say Trees. And basically just start to select. There you go. There's some trees you can go and cut. And all of the folks now that are, are free and, and able to will start uh, cutting down those trees and getting us some uh, some logs. Okay, here we go. We have um, Susra working in the fishing shack. We're going to move this uh, over here a little bit and just give her a good chunk of all of these little... Uh, Unfinished isn't happy. I imagine she hasn't got a house, but all of these here are going to be spots that she can uh, fish from, and that'll start generating fish. Okay, that's good. Okay, Town Hall is up and running. Snod's Meadow exists. Settlement status is great. At the moment, we have good food, good water, uh, good coats and hats and shoes and what have you. We don't have firewood. And we don't have houses, but we can build houses now. We couldn't build them until that was up and running. So, um, you know, that is what it is. We can now come to housing and start building shelters. Uh, these will hold four people, and we currently have 11. So we need at least three of these up and running before we can do anything else. So we'll go here. Uh, invalid building placement. Okay. I don't know why. There we go. It's working now. Uh, we will tab these around. Invalid building placement. Why? We have to have that much space in between them. I didn't think we did. There must be something else here that's bothering us. Can we just not build where there's nuts? That seems insane. I just thought we would lose the nut placement. Okay, well, there's three houses. And then, again, as these trees are cut down to make room for these houses, it'll start to give us a better view of what the space looks like. Um... Yeah, and, and and also, now we've selected those trees to harvest, people will just sort of clear them out when they've got nothing else to do. Bring out your dead. Yes, we do need a graveyard. I believe we can build one now. Yeah, so we need to get a graveyard sorted. Uh, graveyards, one of the big things is in this game is a desirability factor. You'll see in the top right here, um, desirability is neutral on graveyards, which I think is good because, it, you know, obviously it's sad, but also... You know, it's a place that you can go and uh, respect uh, the past, you know. So um, we'll put that right in the middle of town and the graveyard and eventually things like churches and, and whatever you will be sort of core parts of the town centre. So I don't mind having the graveyard quite front and centre. Uh, I know I've seen a few people build them away and out the way, but I, I actually quite like a graveyard to be relatively front and centre. So uh, that's getting built. Uh, we've got some houses going. Let's see what else we've had open up. We do have a stockyard open up now. And this is going to be for your basic building materials, logs and stone and planks. There is also a storehouse um, that's going to pretty much carry everything else. And then root cellar is the first place we're going to start putting food. And it keeps it a bit cooler and makes it last longer. One of the big things about this game is that uh, how long your food is going to last for. So we currently have 15 months worth of food stored up but in the next year 10 months of that will uh, spoil basically so as long as they eat it before the time goes it's not a problem so i feel like this game it always looks like you're just about to run out of food but for the most part as long as you have a few months put away uh, it's going to be okay uh, production wise we have farms these take a huge amount of logistics time energy people uh, we're not going to be looking at those for at least a year or two we are going to be hunter gatherers for the most part uh, we, I know we have a housing shortage, but they are building them. There's not much I can do. As long as they're built before the winter, we should be okay. Um, a smokehouse is going to let us keep, uh, again, smoke the food, which again makes it last a little bit longer, bring, helps bring that uh, spoilage number down. Uh, Resources-wise, we need a well, and we need a firewood splitter. This is actually a really important firewood splitter because um, they, they need firewood to, uh, to cope, to, to, to stay warm during the winter, so... We'll bring a uh, firewood splitter right down here in the front and center of the town. Somebody will get working on that straight away. Uh, the other one is as important as well, a well. 
Well, well, well. So here we'll look at this and usually build the hell, ha, usually build the well around the houses. As long as we have a pretty decent bonus, I'm I'm happy to kind of plunk this down. 79% bonus, 72% bonus. That seems fine to me. The well will become the sort of center point of this housing area that looks like we're going to sort of spread along that way. So uh, there we go. We have two houses built. Third one is on its way. We have a very forested area here. Uh, but again, we're just going to keep harvesting trees, and you'll see that as we uh, as we select these, and as we have less buildings to uh, be built, uh, the more people will start jump on chopping down trees. So um, you'll see here what the houses are looking for. They're looking for firewood and water, and those are the two things we've just put in place. So here we've got the firewood splitter. We can actually like prioritize that, but to be honest with you now, I think once this third house is built, there's actually nothing else to get done other than that and the well so happy for them to keep working on that uh you'll suddenly this graveyard it sure does in fact I, I know it does but it's not as important as the other stuff actually so we'll actually de deprioritize the uh, the graveyard for a moment because firewood and water as we hit the uh, the first winter is way more important than that so we'll knock the priority down on that um there's now nobody building it which is good i mean we can come over to here and prioritize that and prioritize that and then we can also come up into the jobs here and we currently have eight laborers four builders we can actually up this number here to six um i think that zero means that nobody's building stuff i guess they're actually all clearing out uh trees at the moment so i'm a little worried that we're getting close to the winter more people await word to join your settlement. A mass of four months supply of food and six houses. Okay, that's fine. So that won't happen just now. Uh, you will get people just pop up and be like, hey, let us live here. And you need to basically have the space ready for them or, or be very quick to, uh, to have that uh, built for them as well. So I would really love to know why, does, why very little is happening here right now. Um, there are two builders working on this but I can't see them. And there are two builders working on this, but I also can't see them. So let's say that three and three, because they will work, a villager born, nice, we're up to 12. Uh, they will work in the winter unless it gets really cold. So here we have, uh, oh no, deadly cold temp here again. No, so they won't work. They're gonna stay in their house. Uh, this is a big problem because we don't have firewood. Um, I understand desirability here. We'll talk about that in a moment. We don't have firewood, so there's a good chance that everyone just freezes to death here and we have to start over, and this whole video is a waste. Uh, let's see if that happens, hey? Uh, otherwise, though, let's see over here. Fishing is going great. We already have 132 fish coming in. Perhaps I went a little bit too heavy on the food. I just, I, I, last game, I realized that we just, I felt like we just never had any food. Um, the forager shack here has had 53 mushrooms, 104 nuts, 86 berries. Okay. Yeah, do you know what? I think maybe we didn't need all of these food uh, buildings straight away, and we probably should have got firewood and water uh, going much quicker. The problem is they just won't work. So freezing temp means they will come out and work now, I think. It's only deadly temp when they won't. Uh, but I really can't see anyone around, eh? Like, they are just all hunkering down. Uh we have a dehydrated villager. I mean, yeah, a villager has died. Yeah, this, this isn't good, folks. This is not a good start. A villager has been cured from death? Oh, <laughs> how did somebody die of exposure? Yeah, it's just cold, unfortunately. Oh, it was a kid as well. Oh, my God. I have a feeling we might start this uh, save over again. Unless we can get um, we can get this stuff up and ready and built really quick. Okay, come on. Come on. You can all come out and work now. It's nice out. It's not freezing cold anymore. Come on. Look, the, the, the grass is out. The trees are coming back. It's no longer freezing time. Come and work, folks. It's not going to be good for you. Frostbite? Look at it. It's green. Well, what a great start. At least our graveyard will look not empty. But at this point, we really need you folks to come on now and, and get out there. Why? I don't... Is it something I'm missing? Is it just the fact that we have no firewood? It, 
I feel like it shouldn't be freezing temperatures now. A new villager born. Well, somebody's keeping warm, aren't they? Hey, making villagers in the in this time of need. Food stores is looking really good. Everyone's really happy despite people dying. Okay, well, you know, every cloud, I guess. But I, this freezing temp needs to go away because I just don't think they work when it's freezing. I can't see anybody doing anything. Yeah, the freezing temperature went away. It's now warm suddenly and everyone is straight back to work. So that's that's the rule there is that freezing temps, they're just not coming out of their houses. And I don't blame them. And perhaps if we had firewood, they would. They would go in and keep warm and then come out again. Um, so, you know, hopefully next winter it isn't quite as extreme. But we really need to get these two buildings up and running there. But they are back working on them. Um, there are multiple people knocking down trees. You can see them there. That's great. And then over here, uh, the, the well is getting cleared out as well. Okay. So, you know, building within a forest is it, as pluses and minuses. It, it constantly gives you a good wood supply. Um but also, it, it's uh, it, you know, it make it takes everything a little bit longer to get built because they have to clear that space out as well. Um, but we see trees going down all over the place, so that's good. And then, as soon as those two are built, we'll get the grave uh, yard up and running. Uh, get rid of the bodies that are literally just lying in the streets, and then hopefully we'll have a slightly better summer. The food output should start to creep up again. Um, all of those trees have been harvested, so that's fine. Build sites need resources, but none have been selected for harvest. What What do you need? Eight logs. There's plenty of logs around, folks. Oh, we need some stone. Okay, well, that's fair. So let's, what we can do now is come on here and say, or oh, whatever stone there is here, which isn't actually much, but there's some stone there. Okay, so you can go and get that. Um... We can actually say that this is prioritized to go and get. And then hopefully people will go over there. I mean, it makes sense that the well needs stone. These two people are ill. Hopefully they can get their stone and build the well before they die. That's all I'm asking, folks. Come on, build a well. Build a well before you die, please. Um, you'll set them in these graveyards to bury your dead. Yeah. I'll be honest, folks, this isn't a great start. But... It, 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 this is kind of how these games go. <laughs> uh, in my last playthrough, the one I did off camera, I, nobody died for a good three or four years. Uh, we've already had two or three deaths here, but I'm just considering it to be collateral damage. Literally died of dehydration whilst getting the stone for the well. I mean, if that isn't some Shakespearean stuff, I don't know. Uh, you're working hard. Who was it who passed away? Can we even see? No, they just become deceased villager. They, they no longer have a name. Uh, but here we go. You see this number here, this 20. This is like 20 bits of man hour, basically. So, so now everything is here. And that number will just go down as they build stuff. And boom, we now have a well in there somewhere. There it is. Basic well is in there. The water is going to start to get stored. People are going to start moving the water around. That's all good stuff. Over here, we now have a, a, a firewood splitter. For every single piece of log that goes there, we make 20 firewood. There is now 40 firewood. Awesome. So we had a difficult first uh, summer, a difficult first winter even, but... Um, we're, but that's we're, we're doing a lot better now. How much stone is actually here for? So we are going to need some more stone for the um, for the grave uh, grave, site, grave site. So there's some there. What, what else have we got? There's not as much around as I wanted to. Up here there was a big deposit of it, I remember. So that's good. But for now we're just going to have to spread out a little bit and grab those uh, little bits of stone. Uh, you'll see now that we are having a, uh, a lightning storm. There is the chance that buildings set on fire. And they will go to the well and grab buckets of water. So that is something that happens. We have firewood will slowly trickle up as the houses get filled. That's not a problem. Um, but otherwise, I'm kind of happy just to let things run out now. And let's see if we can have a decent summer. See if we can get that grave site up and running. Get these one, two, three, four bodies 
I mean, luckily, the, this, these lots are popping out kids left and right. So the, the, the actual bracket is staying up there. But obviously, even infants can't work. So, you know, we do lose out on the workforce there. Um, but otherwise, it's not terrible. Uh, I can't quite remember what the uh, what the game wanted us to do for the next group of people. I think it was four months of food and six houses. So we will start pushing towards having more houses because obviously we need a workforce else we're just not going to be able to get um, uh, much further than we are already. But food wise I'm happy. We can start adding some roads into the place soon as well but again they just it's it's they take up resources they take up time and uh, to start off with I don't really feel like it makes much difference honestly. Um, but what we do we will start putting in the beginnings of a road system and we're gonna do a a run around the uh, the town center here like so and then we'll have this one come down and you can get these lovely curved roads again I know they're not the most optimal but my goodness they look good so we'll start there and again this will all start to just clear out that um, uh, these trees as well so we're going to bring a road all the way down here. Can we just drag it all the way? No, we can't. So this is going to come to here and then out to this uh, fishing here. So that's a nice, nice road down to the uh, to the resources that way. So we are heading into our next winter, but we do have some firewood stocked up. Not as much as I would like, honestly. But this number here, I think, is just the. Uh, public source of the firewood. I think if we actually go into a house, which is a little tricky to do, um, the actual, so yeah, there is seven there, and I'm pretty sure that 61 is not counting that seven, and, and that goes for all of the food and whatever as well. Uh, so they're still working off smoked meat, which is great. That's the, the, the meat that they bought with them, because we currently don't have a smoker, so that's not, um, uh, that's not something we've produced. That's still stuff that they've bought in. So that's fine. Oh, here we go. So the winter is good because it lets us kind of see the space a little bit more. Uh, here they have, again, some firewood. And as long as it doesn't get crazy cold, extreme cold. So I don't think extreme cold is as bad as freezing because I can hear trees getting chopped down. And I can hear firewood getting chopped. So I think, I think extreme cold is still uh, workable. So what we will start doing is putting down a couple of houses. I won't expect them to uh, build these in the winter. But it's the beginning of them. Next summer we can start expanding a little bit. Uh, I don't. I just don't know why that's not a valid placement. Oh, that's probably because of the road, actually. So that makes more sense. So we'll come down here. So there's our, our three more houses, which gives us the six we need for that uh, that group of people who are looking to travel here. But um, yeah, stone. Just getting dumped. There's one there and one there. I, I'm going to guess it just got so cold that they're like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> uh, predator is attacking. Not much we can do about that. Um, although if our hunter is pretty good at being able to spot that. So we can actually bring uh, select our hunter and then right click. You see here it's got a, a sword. So these guys are having a go. I mean, good for them. What I would rather do is everyone just keep running into their houses, honestly. But no, this guy just wants to fight. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. But Loman, where are you? Loman is here with his bow and arrow and... Ciao, he missed. I mean, I didn't say he was a good hunter. He missed again. Can you just get up there, please? Stop trying to do Hawkeye stuff. Stop trying to do Legolas stuff. That was a good shot. And now he will jump over here. And there we go. Beautiful. Um, so, Loman, good job, buddy. And not only that, he will actually grab this carcass as well and use that for, for meat and uh, hide and what have you. So, yeah, not terrible. Um, really, this summer, would love to see the uh, the graveyard just get finished because I just... I, I don't know what to tell you, folks. I'm not a fan of bodies lying around on the street. Not a fan of bodies lying around on the street at all. Yeah. Sorry, lady. I mean, she, you're still looking pretty good considering you've been lying there for two years, honestly. Uh, are we still in freezing temps? We're in cold temps now, so people are back to work. Uh, time slows down when a predator hits, so make sure you uh, keep an eye on that. Because otherwise stuff will just start uh, crawling again. 
this, interestingly, this nest, I assumed this would go away as the trees around it were knocked down, but it doesn't look like it is. So there is just a bird's nest just sat on the floor here that, that we can get some eggs out of, I suppose. Uh, that's fine. I assumed that we were maybe clearing out that as, as we clear the trees out. So uh, at this point, we will actually increase the priority of that. So that gets finish now because otherwise they'll focus on the houses and I'm less fussed on the houses at the moment I'm really just fussed about getting this built and getting the um, uh, getting the uh, uh, food up and running so yeah so otherwise we're doing okay that's gonna get prioritized somebody's just cut this tree down and then just left it it is prioritized which is good maybe we need to go back down to four builders which We'll fill out some more laborers. I try... Requires additional housing to support a large population. I know that. They're working on it. I try not to micromanage in these games if I can because you can just spend hours looking at those menus. Um, so we have a Wolof. Loman. My boy. I need you to once again come and save the day. Everyone else is running. Away from the wolf. Loman is getting in there. Here to save the day. We're going to get a shot on. Let's see. Beautiful. Can we get another one in before he gets to you? No, we're just diving straight in there with our swords. Loman, what a, an, an amazing work. I mean, just real top-notch stuff. Real top-notch stuff. So, yeah, at this point, I'm not too sure why the graveyard isn't isn't really getting worked. We have stones to be harvested. We have stones just sat around. Nobody seems to be really fussed on, on doing it. Is this stone getting trapped? Okay, so that was just some stone transported there and maybe more here. Okay, maybe it was just taking them a minute to get to the uh, to the stone they wanted. That's fine. Uh, but really, yeah, uh, focus I want to be on uh, getting the stone there. The area is completely cleared out. And then this road needs to be finished off as well because we just have trees in the road right now. But I think once this uh, graveyard is sorted, that's probably okay. But I would like to be—I would like this area to be cleaned up before we before we finish up this first episode. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one, folks. Again, uh, new to, back to the channel after a, a little while away. Um, and so those of you, if you're just falling on this because you're interested in this game or, or YouTube decides to show it with you, our focus here really is on making these games look pretty. We like to do windy roads. We like to think about how stuff gets placed down. Uh, think about how these places would have looked in real life. We don't use grid systems as much as we can. Uh, later on, you know, the game opens up so many different options, uh, all different sort of resources, structures. We can do some defense stuff, we can build lookout towers and, and barracks, uh, we can do some fencing, and then there is even a whole decoration section that you love to see uh, with different sort of gardens and uh, uh, what they call these? Plazas. And later on we can build different statues and what have you from locking things. Uh, crates and barrels, love all this sort of stuff. Um, doesn't really do much, they just look nice, but some of them do increase the desirability of the house. So let's take a look at that briefly before we finish. Uh, desirability. You'll see here, this is what we need to upgrade the building, and it's a general sort of numbers game based on all of the stuff that they want and need. So, first of all, their basic needs just aren't really covered for the most part. Their food is a little lower than they'd like it to be. Their water is a little lower than they'd like it to be. That's just going to be somebody's job soon to move all that around, which I will show you soon. But once their basic needs are covered, um, and we upgrade our town center... Uh, we have a certain population or what have you. This is what they need to have the shelter move on from being a shelter to being an actual uh, lovely house. So uh, that is that. Uh, there are 11 rocks here and nobody working on them. So please, please come and get these rocks. At this point, I think they're still clearing out for this last bit of road. And that's fine, I guess, but I... I really would rather... Can I even select this road? It's not prioritized currently. I really want people on the rocks. I want the graveyard bit finished before we finish this uh, episode. But I suppose the path in front of the graveyard is all part of it. Villagers died, succumbed to illness. Oh no, is that our fisher? 
we now have a new fisher, Lalia. Luckily, they do just sort of drop in and carry on working, which I, which is good. You haven't got to micromanage to that extent. Um, not too sure what the illness was. There has been a house being built. We need this graveyard, folks. We have bodies everywhere. It's not good enough. All of our laborers are working on this road, and I would rather them not. What's is this road done? This one here, just no. Stop. Stop. The settlement needs a graveyard. I know it does. How big is this tree, by the way? I mean, really? Now they've already gone to work on that. Look, I don't want you to. Well, I suppose they're just going to. Sometimes you just can't control what your villagers want to do. And I'm not. I'm not a. Uh, uh, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a kind and gentle ruler. If they want to cut trees and stand next to stinky dead bodies, <laughs> then so be it. There's very little I can do about it. Food lashing's looking a little low as we head towards the winter, which is a slight concern. Um, but those numbers do seem to fluctuate quite a bit. For the most part, that's probably down to the fishing, uh, fishing hut here having a, a bit of time away. But we're still up to, uh, you know, 200 fish in the year, which is great. Over here, we've generated tallow and hides, um, but for the most part, it's you know it's all just down to meat, which is great. The hides eventually we will use to generate more coats and what have you, uh, but that's not something we need to worry about right now. For the most part, I just need these dead bodies gone. Okay, I had to manually like turn off every other single piece of construction for them to finish this, but it's finally done before the winter sets in. I'm now hoping. Somebody, we can hold 96 bodies here, which at the rate we're going will fill up in about 20 minutes. But we, <laughs> I'm hoping now we don't know to work. Manufacturing storage is full. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Like that's fine. Like that's uh, the, too much firewood is good. Uh, there's a lot of stuff around the place at the moment. Our only storage is this uh, is this cart, and we'll eventually sort of clear that out. I would really love to see people start moving bodies around, or are they just going to go and, because of the deadly cold temp, hide away? I mean, that's fine as well. But at least... <laughs> at least the graveyard is built. I'll now come over and uh, turn everything else back on, so these two houses can carry on. Um, you, what's this? You need barrels? With barrels aren't a thing yet. No. Uh, we can come over here and turn... All of these. The problem is the roads are a bit funny because you just have these little tools every and again. Little sort of uh, areas that you have to sort of come on and turn on. So construction, enable. Oh, no, that was already on. Okay, sorry. There we go. Uh, where else? Down here. Construction enabled. Uh, construction enabled. There we go. I think that was all of it. And now, uh, hopefully, as long as the weather's, the temperature's not too bad, they'll go out and finish those roads and houses. But at least the graveyard is built. I would just love to see bodies move around. I don't. We don't actually have. Um, it's not. It's not a job. Uh, there, there isn't a. Uh, there isn't a, um, uh, a. You know, a grave tender or, or whatever is a job. It is just something that they do when they've got a minute, basically. <laughs> but. Um, at least, uh, at least the building is done as we move into year four. I feel like the game is flying compared to my last playthrough on my own. Uh, you do kind of play these games a little bit differently when you're having to sort of commentate on what's going on as well. You can't quite focus as much, at least I find I can't. Um, uh, but yeah, this wasn't a great start, but I, it's not the worst start. So I, I'm, I'll take that as somebody who isn't particularly great at these games. Hopefully in the next episode we can focus a little bit more on sort of setting up our little town here, clearing out these trees and start to make it look a little nice and get some of the uh, the sort of first uh, beginnings of some industry in place. Uh, I, do, I think probably the next big thing we need to do is sort out some storage. Uh, so coming up here to our, our stockyard here, um, is going to be a decent size here that can just sit across from the uh, the town square. Excuse me, the town square there. So we'll put that down, and then we'll have a look what that looks like in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. It really does help out. Until the next one, be good. <laughs>